Am I the one that always has to initiate sex? I'm available for sex all the time. Is that right? Basically. Anytime you want to have it, you can have it. But anytime I want to have it, I can't. So just assume that I want it all the time. So whenever you want it, just tap me on the shoulder. <laughs> Once you know? in a while, I'll give it a try. I'm, that's all I'm saying. Okay? All right, well, okay. All, all right. right. Oh, not, not now. <laughs> no, not now. <laughs> I got a phone call the other day from Wendy Prager. She's directing the Vagina Monologues, that right. show is in New York. She had seen you in a play years ago. Wait, you wait, Cheryl, she wants Cheryl to do the Vagina Monologues? Yes. I, I'm... Uh, I've never seen her so, so I am shocked. Before. I don't know what to say. Did I just see a guy in the corner there? Oh, my God. <laughs> hey. Hey, Lucy. Hi, this is my oh, wife, hi. Cheryl. Lucy oh. Nice to meet you. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, Sorry. I'm here. Okay. <laughs> Are you working? What? What's going on in your life? I'm, so, I'm on drugs. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm tapping you on the shoulder. Oh, you know what? Mm. I'm really kind of not in the mood to tell you the truth. <laughs> So much for always available. I'm kind of tapped out. Tapped out? You were thinking of this woman, Lucy, the whole time you were... No, not the whole time. She made a brief appearance and said <laughs> goodbye, you know. Was I in the mix there? What? I wouldn't defile you like that. <laughs> but it's a great idea to bring your ex-girlfriend. I could degrade and defile her. <laughs> I didn't particularly care for her anyway, to tell you the truth. She's got a bad attitude, does not participate in the lesbian scenes. <laughs> Jeff Green, my manager. Oh, hey, hi, how are you? I saw you in that, uh, that Hurricane movie. You're thinking of Jamie Gertz. Oh, it's okay. great to meet you. Enjoy your lunch. Wow. You're just a big bowl of wrong. Ooh, good night, nurse. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I told you about my stepfather. I didn't... What happened? I feel like it's really starting to affect my life. And there's something called an incest survivor group. Could you go with me? Do, I, do, do you want me to like spell it out? Can you go with me, Larry? Please. You want me to go to the incest group with you? Yeah. It's not really incest if it was your stepfather. Also, maybe they think he is your stepfather. <laughs> Are you sure that you qualify for the stepfather? Is that considered incest? <laughs> The chick you had lunch with. You got her number, by some chance? What do you want a number for? Representation stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to her about sure. working with That's her. That's how you want to work with her. Want to help her career. Just want to help her out. That's all. Mm. You didn't even know what movie she was in. <laughs> My name is Cynthia, and I'm an incest survivor. I want to commend you all for having the courage to step forward. What is said in this room stays in this room. And she's almost crying already. This sort of establishes a circle of sharing. I want you all to feel comfortable with each other. Should Larry even be here? As part of the circle? He's not a survivor. My name's Gwendolyn, and I'm an incest survivor. Hello, Hello, Hello Gwendolyn. 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 My first perpetrator was my grandfather. He was a very dashing, handsome man. He looked like Tyrone Power. Doesn't sound like you regret it. We would play Zorro and Consuelo. He would make a Z on my tummy with a feather and then later with his sword. <laughs> There's one more event I'd like to talk about. I'm not sure if it counts. Does a stepbrother count? Is not really a blood relative. Step counts. Remember that, everybody. <laughs> visit my family and they just deny my existence you know they're not there thanks for letting me share thanks so much next <laughs> i'm just here for moral support i just noticed he's the only guy here <laughs> my name is todd <laughs> and i'm an incest survivor <laughs> hello todd <laughs> i had sex with my uncle when I was 12. <laughs> he was a doctor, an osteopath. <laughs> you will probably run into one of them later on. And then that person will call him Todd. I'm supposed to meet the director tomorrow at 11.30. Cheryl. Wendy. It is Hi. such a pleasure to meet oh, you. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. <laughs> Todd. Gwendolyn. 
Or should I call you, you Wendy? It's Larry. Wait, oh. do you guys know each other? Oh, we, we well, we can't once. talk about it. Yeah, then why did you even bring it up that you know him? It was that newsstand on Las Palmas. He was teasing me because I was reading Dog Fancy magazine. Right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> do you guys know each other? You have nothing to be worried about. It's just kind of personal. This is too strange for me. Oh, no, no, I, no. no. It's, oh, it's Cheryl, a, don't do this. You're going to have to find another actress. Oh, I, it's not what you Mary, think. I'll talk to you later. I want to make one thing very clear. You cannot mention one word don't of what you Don't worry. Heard. She wants to make one thing clear. Completely outing him at first sight. Todd? <laughs> They're telling us about anonymity. You can't say anything right. to anybody about right. what's being said in the room. So I told her to get another actress, and I've just ruined all my chances. Well, I'm sure to that they didn't find anybody yet. Why don't you Why don't you call her up? Won't she know that you've talked to me about this? Right, right. I've been talking to Larry, and he told me all about how you met at the Gamblers Anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> you freak cast already, Lucy Montone. <laughs> well, that seems so. Sudden, I was just there. She's part of Gamblers Anonymous too. Are you gonna be all right driving after we drink? Oh, we'll wait it out. Here's to the vagina monologues. Hey, here's to the vagina. You fucking asshole. <laughs> Send my regards to your wife, dude. I am so sorry I'm late. Oh, oh don't I worry about it. There was an accident on the 405. A big fat guy and a woman. A real jazzy number. Both of them obviously drunk. She's gonna be. Laid up for a while, I'm afraid. <laughs> Maybe you should give Gwendolyn another call, huh? How's hey. my hey. Hi. Hi. This is the director, Wendy. This is my Hello. uncle, Dr. Gordon. How do you do? <laughs> the osteopath? How do you know? Get out of here. What? Get out of here! Get out of here, oh, you no. fucking piece of shit! <laughs>